we're going to get started and we're going to start with Tomer. You can go ahead, Tomer. Hey, Terrence. Uh, good to see you, man. Uh, just wondering, your, your impression of the team so far, uh, I know you guys have had guys in and out of the lineup, um, but are you guys sort of a flip the switch team? Do you feel like you have the ability to flip the switch when necessary? And is that a dangerous thing to have, good or bad, when the playoffs start? Um, I mean, I feel like we just, you know, we're, we're, we're focused day to day. Um, I really, I really wouldn't call it flip or switch team, but a lot of these guys have a lot of playoff experience. So, you know, I'm sure when that time comes around, you know, the mindset, things will be a lot different um, and a lot sharper. Thanks. We're going to move over to Charlie Widows. Hey, Terrence, um, as you mentioned, there, there are a lot of vets on this team who have been in the playoffs, been deep in the playoffs even maybe. Has there been any talk about kind of the special opportunity that this team has to, to go maybe all the way? Um, yeah, I mean, that's something we talk about a lot. Uh, we, know, we know what we're capable of. Uh, so like I said, we just take it day by day um, and try and sharpen our tools before it really gets into, you know, that thickness of the playoffs. Great, we move over to Christina Pink. Hey, Terrence. Um, obviously, you guys have had, as Tomer mentioned, different guys in and out of the lineup, but the bench has kind of always been a spark plug for this team. How do you guys overcome that? How have you overcome it? And kind of what are the ways that you've noticed that you guys have been able to find some cohesion? Um, I just think we follow the leadership of, you know, Lou Williams and Trez. You know, those guys kind of taught us how to, almost how to play when you come off the bench, you know, what type of energy you need to bring, um, what type of focus you need to have, and we feed off that. And, you know, some of, it's like it's like kind of split right down the middle. Some of us are younger, uh, some of them are older, so we kind of bring that energy that they need, and, you know, they, they, they keep us focused. Great, and we'll move over to one last question from Miriam. Hey, Terrence. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about your jersey and the I am a man on the back. Um, obviously, just to kind of speak to what that means to you. It's fitting, of course, but I'm sure there's a meaning for you. And then also just what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on the NBA allowing you guys to wear those messages? And, and do you think that's an effective form of protest? Um, yeah, well, first of all, it means a lot to me just to be able to you know, represent that and show how I feel, you know, with things going on outside of this bubble. Um, and then also for the NBA, letting us, you know, have the opportunity to do that and show people, you know, what we stand for and bring in conversations that, you know, won't get brought up, you know, on a daily basis. You know, just having that there, you know, people see it and want to say something about it and it starts conversations. So it's great. Thanks, Terrence. You have a good practice.